set up a Raspberry Pi and connect its display out to your laptop and a mobile phone. So what we need is a Raspberry Pi and a computer or and a memory card. I have taken a 4GB memory card. So for that we need three programs, namely Putty is one of them uh, to connect with the Raspberry Pi, which is connected to the same network. Another one is uh, VNC Viewer, which is the software we view the Raspberry Pi key screen. And another one is Raspberry Pi Major. So this one helps us to install Raspberry Pi in our memory card. For the first, as the first stage, we need to insert the memory card into other computer via card reader or adapter anything okay then go to this website raspberrypi.com software or just type in a raspberry pi major you'll find uh, an option like this download for windows i have a windows machine so i downloaded it from this link i have already downloaded it uh, so i'm not doing it again uh, for putty you can go to putty download we see this and uh, download it from here this link and for VNC viewer just simply type VNC viewer and we can install from this link we have for Windows download here it's a 64 or 30 bit to bit you can select okay so that's that's all the software we wanted and now for installing you have to after installing the raspberry pi major just go on search that and in, launch that application uh, then we have the options for choosing os I'll be choosing Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit and storage will be the memory card we inserted and we will write the program. Click write. So this will ask us do we want to continue? Yes, we want to continue. It will take some time. Of course, we have to wait. Now we have installed the OS in the memory card. What we have to do is close this and go to the file manager. Then we can see a boot file. Go into that. So what we have to do now is uh, I will give a drive link in the description. You have to download that file. I'll show that file now. Here we can see uh, wpsupplicant.txt. Open this. Uh, what this simply does is uh, we have to input the Wi-Fi which we are connecting the Raspberry Pi to. It's password and it's uh, name ssid means its name and psk means it password so what's my name uh, what's my wi-fi's name is uh, f t t h p f 9 c so and then the password Okay. After that, we are going to save this in the boot folder as a con file. Then what we have to do is go to the boot file and see it's still in the text format so what we have to do is uh, why well, uh, it's because we need to change the view to 
file name extensions we need to see the name extensions actually i can see it because i have already tick marked that box and now we have to do is we have to remove this txt from this just rename and remove dot txt extension from this and this prompt appears and this has become a cmn file now we have to create a new text document we will name it as ssh what this will do is with this will help us to connect to remain and execute commands so remove this txt extension and save after this close this and we can safely eject the boot from the system now put the memory card back into the raspberry pi and now the raspberry pi is turned on and it is connect after give it 20 seconds uh, to connect to the network after connecting we can find the ip address on the admin panel of your modem or just by viewing it in on, on your phone by using the android app called fing you can find it on the google store and find the ip address there go to the google play store and search for fing and you will find the fing app and install it on your phone called so uh, make sure that you connected your phone laptop and raspberry pi in the same network let's uh, go to the uh, fing app and allow all these things and sign in with a gmail account or any account with you have and these are unnecessary things so we have an option here see all devices where we will find our raspberry pi board right there so we will fetch the ip address just just remember the ip address so we can use it later now we have the ip address so we'll go to putty software in it and we will input the ip address of the raspberry pi and click open and a command prompt will pop like this so the password is username is login as pi and the password for it is is raspberry so let's input that here and enter it so in order to configure this uh, Raspberry Pi, we have to input a command sudo raspi config and enter it. So we have many options. Uh, first, we will choose the interface options and enable FFH. Yes, and OK. Again, go to interface options, enable the BNC server. Yes, and VNC is also enabled. So, uh, I think pretty much of this has finished here. So, go and finish it. Uh, tab Q will work as uh, toggling between the select and finish. So, you can click, click the tab key for finishing this okay and finish and we will close this yes then go to the vnc server vnc viewer and again what we will do is we will input the uh, ip address of the raspberry pi 192 168 one four and enter so continue the name will be pi 
sorry. Sorry. Username is pi and the password is raspberry. You can input that and click OK. Uh, if this error comes in, again go to the putty software. Login as pi. Password is uh, raspberry. Enter. Pseudo. Raspy config. Then uh, you will find uh, display options. And here resolution. Put it to the maximum and here you go finish that and close this session okay and go back to the vnc viewer and again click and input the password raspberry now you will be able to see the raspberry pi screen uh, it has a number of options uh, where you can program and uh, set preferences, uh, configure the system and use it. Here is the terminal, file manager, browser, everything. You can see it now. So in order to uh, see your screen in uh, mobile phone we have to again download vnc server in our mobile phone and install it uh, now just uh, launch the app hit the plus icon here input uh, the ip address <laughs> Now input the login as pi and the password as raspberry. Same one we used in the laptop. And we will be able to log into the uh, raspberry pi screen. Now we have, we can see the screen here. It's pretty much it. That's pretty easy to do in mobile phone. If all the configuration is done in the laptop, so that's the today's video that's all for today and we will see you in the next one thank you